Hello everyone, welcome to Volt Tutorial with Scully. Um, in this episode, I'm going to teach you how to do um, a particle accelerator to make antimatter. Antimatter, of course, is the reverse of matter, so it is antimatter, and can be used to make the antimatter bomb. Right, uh, this is the second time I've tried to record this because the first attempt over there, for some reason, didn't work. But yes, anyway, I want to thank you guys, uh, first of all, off for all the support and subscribing you've been doing and the comments have been phenomenal with all your support uh, there's also been some you know questions and things like that and also some tips that you guys have given me like turn down the sound so I've turned down the sound a lot um, so you should be able to hear me better and things like that right with that over I won't get jump straight into this with this so basically what this is, is I've already built this because it takes ages to build one and it's very expensive. But yes, anyway, in here, this is a large hadron collider or a particle accelerator. Now in creative, you can have this thing, which is the instant large hadron collider builder. Um, that's there just for me to show you. That, all that is, is just basically something like that in a ring where you just put it on the ground, click it and it makes the ring for you. But it's cheating in a way, so don't use it. But yeah, in here I've got guides to teach me on everything. You want roughly from the middle to the outside to the inside edge, which I've done this thing for, because I made one half and it didn't work and decided to make the other half. Uh, to From the middle to the outside edge, you want roughly 29 blocks. So from this glass to that glass is 29 blocks and you want another on the other side. And it is roughly the same in a square it and square it out so that that's the minimum you want to make some antimatter quickly any smaller you're not going to make anything and you might you'll be sitting there wasting your energy but yeah uh, here's a you know cut through of what it what it looks like so you've got two electromagnets on either side one at the bottom and a glass electromagnet on the top right let's go into uh, how to make one so an electromagnet is 8 bronze and 1 motor and an electromagnetic glass is an electromagnet and glass uh, and a particle accelerator is 4 steel plates and 4 elite circuits and a motor so very very expensive keep that in mind because if you're trying to build this in your base and you've got and you're quite new to the game please hold back a bit unless you have no time whatsoever because for the amount of what you're going to produce you're not going to get a lot because you need a lot, a lot, a lot, 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 lot of materials to make anything really. Because well, to make an antimatter, because you make what you make is you make an antimatter 200 milligram from each particle you send around, and it gets 100% velocity. You need five 200 milligrams of antimatter to make one gram of antimatter, and to make an antimatter bomb, you need eight one gram antimatter and one nuclear explosive so yes it's stupidly expensive to make an antimatter bomb right let's get this on the road right so you what you want to do on the corner facing the corner so can you see that that stretches up that lane you want to put your particle accelerator block like that it has a little gooey like that it has velocity and percentage state the status the used uh, energy in joules and the uh, kilowatt and voltage so yes so you want to bring cable here I'm using my trusty high voltage cable and advanced battery box you see it's on the output and I put one of my famous infinite batteries yay so yeah and from that you want to put a little lever or an, a, a constant redstone input on the side open up the little GUI now you want any type of block so I'm, go I'm going to use dirt but I'm going to spawn in a lot more because you're going to have a lot more than that. Hello little slime. So you're going to put that in the top bit. You have a little output for the antimatter, so see it fits. Uh, that's that's 200 milligrams, so that's what it looks like. And I'll show you something cool with it in a minute. So then, yes. Uh, I would suggest for power, if you don't, if you're not in creative and you don't have one of these awesome infinite batteries, um, please hook it up to one of these um, a fusion reactor just because 
it just saves you a lot of time and effort building up power with solar generators and things like that because this produces a lot of mega megawatts uh, sorry mega joules and so it wouldn't take long with one of these to make a particle go really fast so anyway we've got the particle it's in, in there we've got the power going we need to do this is very loud by the way we need to flick power you can hear it start whirling and thingy and you can see the percentage just rising and rising and rising so already we use just over 400 kilojoules and 20% at 600 kilojoules 25 at 700 30 at 9 now a quick thing to notice in here somewhere you may be lucky and see it there is a little purple particle spinning around I don't know if you'll see if I sit here for a bit you might have done see it spin around no probably not but no anyway when it when the particle hits a corner because they are 90 degrees and this is still oh there you go did you see it so we saw the particle go past when they hit a corner, because it's 9, uh, 9 degrees and this is still Minecraft, you will, um, yeah, it will slow down and lose velocity. So let's open up the goo again. So we've got 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93. It needs to get to 100 and stay at 100. See, it just went down because it hit a corner. Uh, corner. Uh, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Antimatter. Righty-ho. So we've just made two lots of 200 milligrams with not a lot of power really so it's very very nice and efficient so now I said I'll show you a little cool thing you can do with these so if you're in this view you can just throw them on the ground and they're absolutely fine they are stable as hell if you if you just press your jet key or Q stable as much as you can believe but if they stay on the ground too long they do blow up that's a cool thing <laughs> so basically if you're trying to if you the best way how I can use this actually I'm going to use one right now have I got one? right so for instance I'm going to run over to the little village across the way I'm going to show you something really cool you can use it as, it, as if like a timed bomb so it doesn't make much to make one of these you can instantly blow it up. Actually, let me spawn in two, because I'll show you what you can do with it. So, oh wow, this village is still on fire. So, there's a little hut somewhere with a roof thing. Here it is. So, you, if you throw it, if you throw it just in there, sit and wait. It's like a timed bomb. And after a while, when no one's picked it up. It would just self combust itself like that. And it's very nice. And it's quite funny actually. Uh, let me go over to another roof. Or let me go to another house really. Of course, this village hasn't got much left. And you walk inside, open up that view, so you press your E or B or whatever you are. Pick up your thingy and right click off the side and it blows it up straight away. <laughs> so it's very, very unpredictable I'd say this antimatter stuff but yeah <laughs> it's good fun to use though and we still got all that in the sky but yeah let's go back to our thing and let's make an antimatter bomb I'll show you how to make one of those so it's really really cool so it's almost like here's some antimatter I'm going to throw it on the ground actually I'm going to do a quick test while that's making some so I've got an antimatter 201 so I've got the two I got the one and the two so I'm going to launch for 200 gram over here. I wonder which one's bigger in the explosion. So you can place it on the ground and all of a sudden it'll go, oh shit! Bang! And uh, let's put the 1 gram over here. So does it take longer? Does it make a bigger boom? Or is it about the same? Okay, so it makes a bigger bang and it makes a bigger hole. So yeah so yeah the one ground does make a bigger boom and a bigger hole and he's dying
He's been poisoned. Oh wow. Anti the one gram antimatter creates poison. So if you're not wearing your trusty hazmat suit, you're gonna die. <laughs> so yeah, you can launch it into someone's base, just throw it straight in there, and they're yeah, they're buggered. So yeah, anyway, let's go back to this and see how this is doing. Let's go test this on the village somewhere out here. Let's find a village. Because these guys haven't developed and they can't fight it. So there's got to be a village out here somewhere. Come on. Village. Come on. Come on. So no, they're scared of us. There's got to be a village out here somewhere. Ah oh, yes, there we go. That's what we're talking about. So it's that way. Right, so here's the village. I'm going to launch a antimatter bomb in it. So antimatter explosive. I will come back in a later video to explain on how to make an antimatter missile and anti and the red matter missile to those things. So let's launch it straight in the middle here. So these guys don't know what's coming to them. So basically. This village is just going to go boom, and you're not going to see it ever again. But yeah, I, uh, next video I'm going to be doing more on assembly line into advanced stuff of it and things like that. So let's end this episode off with a bang. <laughs> No more village. No, no more village. Did you see that slime? Did you see that? Did you see that? How much destruction it did? Look, it's only just about left that village, but that um house. But yeah, there is nothing left. So anyway, guys, I've been Scotty with the uh, punch accelerator and antimatter and the antimatter bomb. Remember, like, subscribe, and comment if you like this video. Please, it doesn't take a minute just to leave a comment saying how much you love me and all things like that. But yeah, um, until next time, see you later.